Greetings and welcome to Matrix Unlocked presentation 44 pre-recorded version. I uh, made a live presentation yesterday which ran for an hour and one minute um, but only 47 just under 48 minutes have actually uploaded and I've noticed it's cut out on keywords and missed quite a lot of important information um, hence this sort of repeat um, and hopefully we can overcome the shall we say censorship when it comes to mentioning certain keywords associated with secret societies so silly season it follows the same pattern as everything else. Um, whatever is the truth, the dark side will twist and turn into something else. There is no question as far as the physical aspect goes as to whether we are in or on the earth. There is plenty of tests that have shown independently that you can see for vast distances far greater than um, we are told we're, we can see. But you can trust your eyes on what you can see with the use of a telescope or a, ca a camera with a zoom lens or you can believe the story and think you are seeing a mirage. That's your choice. But basically what happens is instead of us being on a physical plane we are now placed on the outside of the magnetic sphere which is why they tell us we are on the outside of a spinning ball because they like to put a spin on things and this is a repeat pattern of good cop bad cop and as i've entitled this video silly season i should explain that you have a thing called Halloween, which is associated with skeletons and witches and bats and anything associated with the spooky and the scary, which also makes a cutoff point. Um, so the silly season Christmas sales can't be pushed before that, but they certainly like to add in other distractions like the nonce of York. Um, you'll notice with this dark side they do have this very sick sense of humour that starts with the entry levels to certain secret societies with rolling up one trouser leg and looking ridiculous to the naming and shaming almost in public with this Jeffrey Epstein if we can believe he is even real or is it is he even dead conveniently dying at 66 years and six months and now it is this Prince Andrew um, in the limelight another bit of distraction oh and we have talk of a general election in the UK but it the ones I feel most sorry for are the children they are being targeted the most so they will then pass on this um, programming to get their parents to spend money a lot of parents do not have the money to buy these things that children want because you'll notice that the price of things continually continues to rise outstripping the rise in wages unless you happen to be a politician or a, um, a an actor in Hollywood I mean, basically, collectively, they're all actors. But for the general rank and file of people who are in this debt slave system, things get harder and harder each year as you are being squeezed more and more. So we then come to 25th of December and they are turning you into consumers, based obviously on the word sumer, the earliest known recorded civilization, so they say. But think about what it is really about, the symbolism of it. Now, I could understand it if it was showing a newborn baby and showing you new beginnings and new life. But no, they show you an image of a man that is nailed to a cloth, cloth to a cross. Per. It is a death cult, basically, and it is starting in the time of year when you have the least light. It has been perverted because obviously the winter solstice where you have the greatest um, 
time of darkness and the least daylight, three days later, of course, the sun starts to rise. I wonder where they got the idea with Christianity from with all this. Of course, the, the year should really be starting on April the 1st, which is known um, in the UK and the USA at least as April Fool's Day because we are all being fooled and this is the problem. I think a lot of the time when you mention something to anyone that is not going with the official narrative and you try and point out even the conflicts in the official narrative when you can do comparative studies of things and find that things don't tally at all. For example, the East meets West Railroad in the United States. I'll come back to that uh, in a little while because that's quite relevant to this uh, presentation but um, yeah you have this people get this conflict because nobody wants to be feel that they have been fooled or made a fool of it works very much the same way as depression and anxiety you feel that it is suddenly just you that has got it and this is the problem people are not honest enough with themselves to understand that we have all been fooled at one time or another and we still are being fooled a lot of the time. It has been shown um, very well on um, un the Unscrambled channel. I'm going to put the links in that I put in the links on the live version of this presentation and it shows you clearly that what we are shown in the media is completely fake and when it is slowed down um, you, and analysed properly, you can see that what they're showing you is anything but the truth and it is using a series of actors, using a series of back screens that do not fit with what is supposedly happening. And this, this is something that they do all the time. So going back to this whole idea of Christ mass, that is exactly what it is. It is a mass. It is a black magic ritual. That is what it is really about. It is the celebration of death, not the celebration of new beginnings. Otherwise, you would be celebrating the birth of something and not having a symbol of a man that is nailed to a wooden cross. But that symbol in itself is a corruption. What it is actually showing you is the winter and summer sunsets where you get the short and the long shadows. That in itself is a perversion of not only the symbol of earth, the cross within the circle, it is also showing you us for, as viewed from above. Because you don't have two hemispheres to the brain, the, just the right and the left side, you have the front and the back. That is where your four angels, your four angles are, your four hemispheres of the brain actually are, or, or of the mind if you prefer. And you'll notice within that circle, there you have your four corners. And right in the middle is the center point, the point of everything. That is your crown chakra. This thing with Christmas trees, I don't think people really understand what that is actually telling you. It is not about presence in the sense of material gifts. It is about each and every one of us. We are a presence. The tree is representing your nervous system and the roots of the tree, but obviously it's been perverted and is turned into something that is a tree that has been grown to be cut down and basically massacred as part of this ritual. But the presence at the bottom of the tree is basically the human body, your crown or your star which is what you really are. Through the cerebrum, your Sarah Abraham, through the cerebellum, which is where you get bell and bale, you, all this spiritual energy runs down your spine, your Jacob's ladder, to the base chakra, and it goes through the claustrum, which is where you get the idea of the Santa Claus, it's the claustrum. It sends the gifts down to all the other um, chakras within the body. And what we have to do, and this is what the real ascension is, is sending that energy back up to the crown. 
there is so much that has been perverted and twisted so something that was multiple is now singular and something that was singular is now multiple and you're being dis misled by this news this north east west and south looking everywhere except within which is the place you should be looking all the time it is all about going within it is not christ mass it is christ us because it is the christ consciousness um, within all of us every one of us can be a living christ if we accept and remain open-minded and we're not it's not about letting something in it is about letting something out and radiating out this is what spirituality is all about it is it is sending out it is not taking in we're encouraged to take in education through this cyst stem because that is all it is it is a stem of a cyst because we are dealing with something that is parasitic and non-human in its thinking it is to such a degree of negativity that the greed is out of control and despite it having all it could ever have and could ever spend in the material sense it still wants more this is why you will pay more and more taxes and you will be squeezed further and further to keep you in this debt system and the worst part about this is it all works through illusion it is operating through each and every one, one of us while we fall for the angle because that is what we are we are fallen angels falling for an angle look at the word fall n n means lord like enki and enlil lord of the sky and lord of the earth fall n so you're a fallen lord because that is what we are we are living christs if we choose to be and if you choose to be that is what you makes you a chosen one that's another thing they try and tell you is a particular group because it's all about divide and conquer with all of this now the 144,000 that is not 144,000 people that is your 144 petals to the your seven energy chakras in the body and when it gets to the crown and and it radiates out it magnifies by a thousand hence 144,000 but um, the, this enemy that we face, this invisible enemy, you can call it by many names and it is referred to by many names. You can call it Skull and Bones, you can call it every, all the secret societies, you can think it's the Vatican, you can think it's the Jesuits, the monetary system, the banking elites, the royal families, the mysterious sea people. This thing at the heart of this behind everything re relies on illusion and it will have many masks and it doesn't want to be seen just like in the dracula films the prince of darkness has no reflection but as match one two three four c golf channel um, she made a beautiful video in response to something um, which is entitled we are the stars I i've said this we are the stars and we live in two days. You live in a subconscious days and a conscious days. Now, can you tell which is the dream? Because when you dream, things can seem very real, just as real as in the conscious. A lot of you have said you don't feel like you belong here. This doesn't feel like home. Well, that's because your soul is in the stars because everything is written in the stars we are star matter we are just projections into these into this 3d reality and we are in two days this is why people won't wake up because it is all a dream whether it's conscious or unconscious as christine on holographic multiverse says the answer is always yes and no to everything so is the world flat is it spherical the answer is yes and no is this the dream is this the reality yes and no it can feel like a reality in the three dimension but it's all a holographic overlay but it's not all bad because that's saying dreams can come true if we can leave this veil of vile evil 
Notice how that is one word with the letters swapped round and it all means the same thing essentially because this is what they do, they twist the words. If we can remove this overlay, this dream reality can actually be a heaven on earth rather than a hell on earth. The um, general sort of picture that is put out of hell as being an eternity of fire well, what if, I've said this before, what if you happen to be a two-year-old who is suddenly orphaned in a war-torn country like Yemen, as is portrayed on the media? Would that not feel like a hell if you were then doing this over and over again? Of course, you will have fires all, all around because there is a war on terror. T-E-R-R-A. Terra firma. Chasing an invisible enemy. This, again, is another one of these illusions. We are constantly being told to pick a side. This is why we need to stay neutral to it, because we are feeding a monster, a psychopathic monster. And this is what I don't understand with this blind faith in things, in this belief in this Christian Jesus, which there will be a basis of truth in this. The basic teachings, there is nothing wrong with it. But look at even in that story, this Jesus goes into the temple and he doesn't operate within the law. They are changing money in something that is supposed to be a house of God. And he upturns the tables and obviously gets arrested for it. But that is a spin on a story um, anyway. It's a fish story that you've been told. Because if you think about this, the Holy Trinity, Jesus is the Son of God, but it is also God. It is three in one. Well, look at this God. It doesn't get its own way. It doesn't like the th way things are being done. It has a temper tantrum and it floods the entire world and commits genocide against all life. So if this Christian Jesus is part of this God as well, then that shows you that it's not actually very good. But this is all done on purpose. People think Catholics and Protestants, Anglicans and so on are different. No, it's all controlled from the same source same as all religions if if i was going to go with one of them it would probably be buddhism but then alarm bells go off with that because they're dressed these tibetan monks are all dressed in orange and notice they're all male and what is the orange chakra what is that associated with reproduction so where are all the women in buddhism why is it just men i will not hold with anything that excludes women because we are divine feminine and we are divine masculine in one, regardless of whether we are in a male or female body. Again, this is something that has been twisted. The whole idea of this unity is the reconnection of the right and the left brain, the mind aspect of us, not the physical trying to create a transgender half male, half female, which this media and Hollywood seem to be trying to project. I jokingly said earlier, there was a time when I'd look at a woman and I'd look at her breasts. I now look to make sure there's no Adam's apple. That is how bad things have got. But it's not actually that much of a joke if you think about it because they are deliberately misleading people and it is done at a psychological level. You've only got to look at the start of films like Universal Pictures. They always show you a spinning ball, for example, because they are putting a spin on things. And you'll see all these references in the astrological signs as well. Because think about Saturn. What's Saturn got? It's got rings around it. And what does Satan do? Run rings around all of us. This is the mass deception that is being played on all of us. But referring back to what Match 1234C Golf Channel said, um, it is dependent on the time of our conception and the zodiac sign that we are in and the, all the other constellations and how they're related around that. It's, we are the stars. So that determines how our life will go from there on and the interaction with the other constellations is played out in this three-dimensional reality into the people you come into contact with here. But it's not all doom and gloom at all, far from it. What this reveals 
as much as anything else when you consider um and I'll, I'll admit it i used to eat chocolate bars i used to eat processed foods i used to have microwave meals i used to drink tap water full of fluorides i used to go to a doctor i lived through the 1970s where there was e numbers in a lot of food butter wasn't was suddenly no no longer good for you have margarine with polyunsaturates and other hor horrible chemical things. And even then I thought, this doesn't seem right. But I'm still here. I'm here today. I've got through it. And I'm sure all of you have gone through eating some absolute awful rubbish in your life. And you've possibly been to the doctor and you've had prescription drugs, putting things into your body that is disrupting and diseasing the balance within all your chemical makeup, but you're still here. This shows how much true energy that is being hidden from us. But when it comes to the religions, you become prey and it is feeding on your spiritual soul energy. It is sucking the life out of you, quite literally. Same with a vaccine, vax innate. It's sucking out your nature out of you. Look at also the way that we are, the plan is to herd us into cities. And looking at some of these, the size of some of these cities and the size of these tower blocks, I do wonder if some of these people have ever seen a tree in real life, let alone a turf of grass, or even experience being out in nature. They are almost clone copies devoid of this. Now this term missing link, it's not some Darwinian idea again that is the twist on the truth the missing link is taking away this connection between the right and left hemisphere with the third eye that is the missing link and that unfortunately is what a lot of people seem to be lacking i said before that um, dogs are smarter than many humans they certainly they are as far as um, they have better senses of hearing and smell but I'm sure if all, all of you that have got, got dogs and, and, and the rest of you that haven't can relate to this, you take a dog out and you take a tennis ball and you throw it and the dog goes off and gets it if it's a retriever and brings it back. Hopefully it will drop it and then you can throw it again and you can have this game. See, the dog learns quite early on to let go of the frigging ball. But a lot of people will still hold on to something that they have been told and they have not checked out from themselves. It's no good just saying, well, the doctor says this is good for me. I would seriously suggest you look at the doctor's oath and you look into why it was revised in 1964 to include a new paragraph that says we have the power over life and death, which is just after the um, part in the oath that says they will not play God. Well, having the power over life and death, surely is that not the definition of playing God? I'm going to leave this video here because there is... Oh, actually, I will mention one thing about the, the sync thoughts. Now, I was thinking about making a video looking at this whole picture of this East meets West Railroad across the United States. And... It was a sync thought because quite independently, um, A Plain Truth For You, J Jamie Lee, um, has made a video all about this in, f in a far better presentation than I could do because my technical skills are not that great with technology anyway. But do go and have a look at that because the picture we're painted of in the Westerns, you've got these people hammering spikes in. Now, where is the US Army to protect these constructors of this railway line? Because isn't that in an era where you've got these non-Christian savages who will scalp you? Ah, um, <laughs> but I'd, I'd be quite a trophy, wouldn't I? But again, even that is all divide and conquer because it is pitting at one group against another. There is more than one type of human in this world. It is not down to the obvious physical differences it is far more subtle it is at an energy level there does seem to be clone copies that are totally ob oblivious unable to even formulate questions when you are, they are presented with anything and cannot make sense of it and they do get this cognitive dissonance 
there is this pandemic of frontal temporal dementia and I don't know if there's any cure of that if you if anybody is struck by that and you'll probably be able to relate to this you'll see that you're you're most likely going to be the black sheep of the family if you're the crazy one you have weird ideas but of course these ideas are so weird when you point them out that it's in law, it's US patents and so on that is showing this information that anybody can go and look up. But it's your crazy idea. <laughs> that, that, who is the crazy ones here? Um, I was asked about this spiritual path. Well, again, I think look with inside for the answer. It's your nervous system. It's like the tree roots. There are many, many branches in the truth seeking side. So side you could be going down one of these um, down one of me these many branches but they're called rabbit holes but just you need to just see the overall pattern of how things are twisted look for the good cop bad cop look for the th the silent third player in all these things stand back and see the bigger picture the devil is always in the detail so i'll leave that there because there's that's what 20 26 minutes it takes a while for these things to upload this is my third attempt at trying to make this because i had a lot of trouble with getting a, a new memory card into the phone and it um just decided to sort of play up i do wonder how um far this ai um can actually sort of interfere with all these things um the evidence suggests that it is but we are spiritual beings with magnetic energy and that is far, far stronger. And this control system knows this. They are far more fearful of us than we need to be of them. That is something to keep in mind. So spread the love. Stay in your own